And speaking of the coming election, it's been real. As you guys must have heard, um, the IPOP leader Nam De Kano has announced that Atiku, the PDP candidate, is a Cameroonian. And so he has ordered his followers to boycott the coming election. Father, father, as you know, he's been telling them to boycott for a long time anyway. So for those who may be wondering, Atiku's hometown used to be part of Cameroon before their independence in 1961. And so they became part of Nigeria in 1961. Here on radio, Biafra, anything I say is gospel. He was born in 1946. When did they join Nigeria? Was Atiku therefore born a Nigerian? Not at all. Then he shouldn't be contested for the presidency. Atiku left Jonathan our brother to go and campaign for his own brother who's a Fulani man, Buhari. Anyway, <laughs> but you know, I'm really surprised that uh, his followers are not circulating this the way they were circulating that uh, Buhari is Jubril from Sudan when he told them so. Is it possible that they've collected money from PDP? We are the children of light. Without us, Africa will remain poor forever and ever. We are the only hope of Africa. Biafra is the only hope, in fact, for every black man on the face of this very year. Maybe they are just selective in the information that they circulate from the Mazi. Also, <laughs> also if they should boycott this election, they may just help Buari to win the election. Dayanut, wherever you are, listening to my voice, we the indigenous people of Biafra are saying on 16th of February, we are not going to vote in Biafra land. 16th of February, 2019, we are not interested in what they are doing. They may just help Buari to win the election. I mean, so I say that if you are a follower of Nam De Kano and you don't want Buari to win in this coming election, you can vote him out. You know, there are options. You can either vote for the hurricane or you can vote for the force or the Cameroonian with a bomb bomb tattoo. <laughs> But seriously, if you're tired of boy like so many of us are, I don't think you should boycott the election because you may just help him to win the election. Meanwhile, Buari now thinks he came into power in 2005. I assure you that we are very conscious of the promises we made when we were coming in in 2005. Okay, this is becoming scary. Another slip of tongue. Seriously, if the man is not well, why can't he just tell us? You know what I mean? Or step down. <laughs> anyway, you guys not don't know much. Guess what? I'm just keeping it real. <laughs>